are you curious about the God scene in Belgium? In today's video, I tell you about my experience with it. Hello spooky bats and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Orfia and I'm a god YouTuber from Belgium. In today's video I will be talking about the god scene in Belgium because it seems that a lot of you don't know much about it. I want to thank Carrie, one of my lovely patrons, for suggesting remaking this video and giving more explanation because it has been a few years since I made the last one. So thank you so much Carrie for suggesting this and if you weren't aware I do have a Patreon and I do actively take video recommendations and suggestions from my patrons. So if you aren't a patron already and you'd like to be, the link to it is in the description box of my videos. But now, without further ado, let's get into the questions. First question, what is special about the god culture in your area? I think my area should be considered mainly my part of Europe, where Belgium is part of. Because Belgium is such a small country and we are next to so many other countries that we do get influenced by each other a lot. Belgium, France, the Netherlands, Germany, we kind of all hang together as a god scene, I feel at least, that's my personal experience. And also Belgium doesn't really have a lot of festivals, so mainly the festivals that I personally attend are in neighboring countries. Now what is unique about the god scene here in Belgium? I'm not really sure. I know it's a very tight-knit community, but we are split up. Well, we're not actually split up, but there are two big parts of it. You have the first part, which is the part that comes from the new wave scene, which is the, the older people, as I will politely call them for this video, but it's people mainly of ages 30, 40 and older. I personally don't feel like I'm part of that part of the God subculture. And then there's the other part, which I feel closely related to, and it's the younger generation that actually comes from the party scene. So most of them come from metal backgrounds or electronic music backgrounds, and they listen to new wave as well, but they mainly also listen to electronic music. So there are those two big groups that actually together form the God subculture here in Belgium. So we have those two influences coming together. The only example here in Belgium that I can currently think of because a lot of organizations have shut down is called Wefest. Wefest is a festival that is currently held in Ostend, if I'm not mistaken, and they have a day that is specifically catered to a little bit younger crowd, which is called Sinner's Day, on which they had Suicide Commando, Whispering Sons, VNV Nation, The Neon Judgment, and a lot more bands as well. But that day uniquely catered also to the second part of the audience, the younger people who listen to more electronica music, and then the other days of the regular festival that weren't called Sinner's Day, those were more catered to the people who have been around for a longer time, so it's mainly music from the 80s and so forth. Now let's get on to the next question. Is there a big god scene or do you rarely see local darklings? Well, it really depends. If you go to bigger cities, for example Antwerp, Ghent, Brussels, there you might see gods in public. But you have to keep in mind that not everyone dresses like this all of the time. Even I don't dress like this all of the time and I don't wear as much makeup. So there might be a lot more people that are alternative or god, but you might not see them around because they are dressing normal or corporate for their jobs or because they are lazy like I am a lot of the time. But you might still see them over the weekend in non-Covid times. If there's parties around, you will actually see them quite a lot in the cities where there's parties going on. So in Ghent, for example, I host my own event. If it's a day of me hosting my events, if you go there in the evening, you will for sure spot other gods. And also because I know my local scene, I see them around everywhere. I don't feel Belgium has a particularly big god scene, but we do have a tightly knit community. The next question is a bit more delicate question. Do you think ordinary Belgian people are more accepting of gods or do you experience a lot of harassment? Well, generally speaking, I think here in Belgium most people are fairly accepting of God nowadays. I'm not sure how it was earlier, or at least I haven't experienced much troubles with it anyways over the years. The only times that I had some issues with it was when I was at school in Antwerp, so you have to keep in mind that this was about 10 years ago at this point, 
and I was going through metro stations, etc. And I did get catcalled quite often, but that happens whether you're caught or not. And also I was harassed two times more severely, but it was always of, I'm gonna say this in the politest way possible, non-Belgian Belgians. So people that are from other origins who moved to Belgium, who are not accepting of our cultures and of the fact that we dress differently and that we are actually just doing what we want. But I never actually had a lot of trouble. Most of the time they just run off once you start getting back at them. So I just yelled back at someone once and then they just were gone. So yeah, no, overall I don't get a lot of harassment here in Belgium. I have had it happen only like years and years ago, but nowadays for me it's fine. And I know this might be different for people who are actually living in the city center because I rarely go into city centers and if I go somewhere I don't take public transport. I usually take my own car to get from point A to B because otherwise I don't get home most of the times because I do live in the middle of nowhere, which is amazing by the way. Um, but yeah, I don't think that Belgium is very discriminating or very much offended by gods, etc. Because I also think most people just look behind it right now. Next question, how do gods fit into your country's other subculture or alternative groups like emo, metalheads, cosplay and so on? Well, I think here in Belgium the alternative scene actually consists of everything together. Since Belgium isn't a big country, we kind of all fit together. So some gods are involved in the metal scene, in the god scene, in the cosplay scene. There's a lot of crossover in between every single one of them, which I think is normal because I also enjoy metal music. I actually originally listened to metal music and then discovered God. Some people also discover cosplay through God or have been in cosplay and then discover God through that. So it really depends who you are, where you come from, what your background is. But overall, we are all very accepting to each other and we even attend parties mostly together because the subculture is fairly small and if there is a gothic industrial night which also plays industrial metal music you might have more metal heads but if you go to a new wave electro event you might have more people who are into the rave culture as well so the electronic god subculture and then the new wave like actual old school god scene as well so it's it's a big melting pot of everything basically are there stores and clubs and such that cater to gods yes and no there used to be quite a few shops, but nowadays I only know of two that are actually located in Belgium that sell gothic clothing. The first one is called Black Witch, which is located in Antwerp, and the second one is called Street Since 1990, and that is located in Ghent. We used to have a lot more stores. We used to have fans, we used to have ultraviolet, but a lot of them don't exist anymore. I personally mainly shop online on sites such as Etsy, I buy secondhand on Vinted, and I also get my stuff from Attitude Holland, which is a in the Netherlands, so a Dutch-based store. And now for clubs. This is a totally different question because there are quite a few clubs that actually cater to gods, but the organizers sometimes don't know how to do it, etc. So it really depends on the organization of the event. I personally organize Revolution, which is a new wave and electronic god music event. And if you're watching this video and I haven't announced it online, then you are one of the first to know that the 23rd of October will be the next date for my personal event. You can find a link in the description box of this video and I'm also on Facebook with it. So yeah, I personally host a god event in the city center of Ghent. There's Bunkerleute in Leuven. I'm not sure when they start organizing again. In Antwerp, you have mixed visions and you used to have vampire party and it might be coming back. But we don't have a specific god club. We have clubs that you can organize god nights at, but it's mostly the organizations that organize the god nights, if that makes sense. Next question, where do gods go to find gods in your city? And she also asks if I am near Antwerp or Brussels. Well, I am actually in between Brussels and Ghent, but I'm closest to Ghent. So if you go to Ghent on a regular evening, I'm not sure where you actually could find gods. I know you can find like-minded people in also geek cafes. So there's two in Ghent that you might be able to go to, but there isn't really a god club or cafe that is open during the week. So I'm not really sure. I think at home in their sofa watching TV or watching Netflix or something. 
But in Brussels, I know that you have a cafe which is called Le Cercueil, which translates to the coffin. It's more a metal bar, but lots of gods go there as well because there isn't really anything else. I'm not sure if it's still open or if it's open currently. In Antwerp also, I'm very sorry, but I have actually no idea. I know that we used to do meetups at the Groenplaats, which is a square in the city, in the city center actually. A Groenplaats is actually very close to the club called the Aalmoezenier, where Mixed Visions and Vampire Party used to host their events. But I really don't know if you are looking to really spot some gods where to go, because honestly, there isn't really any. And then the final question is, if you go on road trips to god events, where do you go and what do you do? So road trips for me are things that are outside of Belgium, because inside of Belgium, I go to Bunkerleute, I go to my own event Revolution, I go to Antwerp for Mixed Visions and Vampire Party, and if I can, I attend Weefest, which is now in Ostende, but used to be at another location, etc. So those are the things in Belgium. However, I mostly go to the Way of Gothic Treffen, which is the biggest god festival. It is held in Leipzig. It is always the same weekend around May, June. I'm not sure how to say the name. Is it a weekend. Don't shoot me if the name is wrong, but it is the biggest god event and it is held in Leipzig. So for us it's an eight to nine hour drive from where we live to the actual festival. And it's amazing. You have shopping opportunities, you have musea, you have a lot of things, but the main thing for me personally is music and dancing. Music is to me personally the most important, the single most important thing to the god scene. I know there's art, there's clothing, there's fashion, doesn't really matter all too much to me. The main thing that matters to me is the music. The music connects me to all of the other people that are part of the god subculture. So if I go to the Wave Gothic Treffen, it is mostly to go and see bands and dance to the music of those bands, go to lots of after parties, have a nice drink, have some nice food, maybe shop around a little bit, but that's not my main focus. And then there's the other festival that I try to attend very often, which is the Amphi Festival, which is a lot closer, which is located in Köln, also Germany. And it is a two, two and a half hour drive from where I live. Again, this is a music festival and that's the main reason why I attend it. I haven't been to any God events in the Netherlands and I'm not sure if there are any still. And also in France, I'm not sure if there are any bigger God events, if there are any God events at all. So yeah, I really can tell you, I mostly go to Germany for the God events, for the festivals. I really want to attend the Mira Luna festival, which is a combination of metal and God. And I haven't been there yet. So that's on my to-do list. That's on my want list for sure. So I hope these questions help you get an idea of what the God subculture in Belgium is like. Should you still have any questions at all, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And I might actually make a follow-up video to this one. Before I end this video, Video, I want to of course thank my patrons Anders, Jerry, Jen, Professor Gothic and JB. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, it means the world to me. And of course to each and every one of you, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!